So what we're showing you today is a simulation of a class three medical device. It is built with Qt. Um, it is the safety critical information is rendered in Qt's uh, safe renderer. Uh, it is built with also on top of integrity uh, real-time operating system and uh, it is designed with Qt Design Studio. Okay, so this is uh, simulating, as I said, an infusion pump. I can come in here and I can put the patient information in, including the patient's name, their weight, what drug we're going to infuse, and then the, the rate at which we will infuse the drug. Very dynamic and nice touchscreen operation. When we confirm it, now we're simulating the drug being infused. As I mentioned, this is on the integrity of real-time operating system. Reason why we chose integrity, because of the cybersecurity around a device like this. We need to secure not only it from being hacked and a dose rate like this being changed, we also have to secure the patient information because of uh, patient privacy. And then this was built with a uh, cute design studio where this was all designed in Photoshop and then it was automatically imported into Qt and the code was generated. Right now, the, safe, uh, the Qt safe renderer kicked in. So there was a, we, we simulated a crash of the software and the information here is what we defined as safety critical. So the safety critical information is both accurate and still being displayed despite a, a failure in the software. Okay, so the importance of this demo is pulling together the Qt Design Studio, which we use to uh, import the design of the UI UX and generate uh, the QML code, uh, rendering the safety critical information in the Qt Safe Renderer to make sure that if there is a software failure, uh, the safety critical information is displayed and also accurate, and then building on top of the integrity uh, real-time operating system for an ultra-secure uh, operating system environment.